Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with how to make Lego chocolates. Making these chocolates are extremely easy and here are the supplies that you need. First up, you'll need some silicone Lego molds. You can use as many different molds as you want, such as this minifigure one, this 2x4 brick one, or this minifigure one with bigger minifigures and then a huge minifigure. For those wondering where you can get these trays, you can check out these trays on ETSY from Wink, a shop that sells these Lego silicone molds for just about $10 American, which is a really good deal because you get all three molds. But stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how you can either get a mold for free or how you can get them for 20% off. The next thing you'll need to make these Lego chocolates will be a microwave safe bowl. You will also need two spoons, a teaspoon as well as a tablespoon. I recommend having both just because it's a little bit more helpful. And finally, the last thing to make these Lego chocolates is of course chocolate. And you can use whatever brand of chocolate that you prefer. I'm using these Hershey Chip It's because that's all that I have. Step one would be of course to remove the plastic from these molds. Next up, you want to get some chocolates ready. So what I recommend doing, which because you have to do it, is pour the chocolate that you want into the microwavable bowl and try not to get any chocolate on your studio space if you're doing it in here. And then because I'm not going to use my hands because I'm making a video, I'm just going to spread the chocolate out evenly and I imagine this chocolate will be enough. I probably won't fill every mold because that's just a lot of chocolate. When you have as much chocolate as you think you'll need in the bowl, you go out to your microwave in your kitchen and melt it. But if you don't have enough chocolate, don't worry because you can just melt more later on. Let's take this chocolate to the microwave. And here we are at the microwave. You'll want to open the microwave up, place the chocolate inside, and start to cook it. I'm going to start it in a minute, but I know I'll need to put it back in for longer. Now what you're going to do is open up the microwave and stir the chocolate. And as I mentioned, you're going to have to put it back in. And when your chocolate's all done, you'll want to take it out of the microwave, but it will be hot. Now that your chocolate is all melted, you just need to get your silicone molds and start pouring the chocolate in. You can put as much chocolate here in the molds as you want, but I'm only going until they're full to the top, letting the spoon drip off. And then you can also use your other spoon, to just because I said get two spoons, just to spread it out a little more. Put that one in the chocolate as well. Then I'm going to switch to the other side and do the exact same thing over and over again until the whole mold is filled up with chocolate. The next mold that I'm going to use is going to be the smaller minifigure tray, the blue tray. Again, I'm just going to repeat the exact same process, getting lots of chocolate on my spoon, but this time I don't need as much chocolate because the actual molds are smaller. So this time I actually had a little too much chocolate on, so I better fix that. That one's going to be a big chocolate. And finally, the last tray that I'm going to be using, because it's the last tray I have, will be this big green minifigure tray. So first thing first, the thing everybody's waiting for is fill up the big minifigure. Okay, that's a cavity waiting to happen though. So I'm going to fill it up and it's going to take quite a few spoonfuls of chocolate. And I'm going to be probably making a big mess just trying to get the chocolate into the tray. Because this is a big, big mold. And there we go, I got the whole thing filled up and I didn't even make that much of a mess. Now let's fill up one of the smaller ones. And I guess I made a bit of a mess there. Now once your chocolate bowl is empty, and once you've filled up as many of the molds as you want to, this is time for the next step. But if you want to fill up all the molds, I suggest, suggest 
repeating the first couple steps and just making more chocolate to fill up the molds, but because I'm doing three molds at once, I don't really need that much chocolate, so I'm just going to stop here. The next step is letting these rest. I recommend putting them in the fridge as they take a lot less time, so let's go put them in the fridge. Let's just put these chocolate in the refrigerator. So now it's time to put the chocolates on a plate. I have a plate here, so I'll just move the molds out of the way and get the chocolates on them. I'm going to start with the yellow tray, and it's really, really easy to actually get these chocolates out of the trays. All you have to do is hold it and push, and because they're silicone, they just pop right out when you turn the molds inside out and they just come out very easily, which is really good because you don't want chocolates that won't come out very easily at all because then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of making them in Lego form because then they end up messed up. But they're all done and then you just pop the mold back to the original shape and there you have a plate of chocolates and a really messy studio. Next up, we'll get the blue chocolates out, the blue minifigures. Again, all that, I didn't even know that one popped out. It just popped out so easily. Again, they just pop right out, and they don't stay out like the other molds, so that you gotta, you may have to use your feet, or your, not your feet, that's gross, you may have to use your hands to pop them out a little more. Now let's get the big one. This one's gonna be a little trickier because it's such a big mold, and I use so much chocolate for it. But, there we go, the big one's out, now it's time for the little minifigures. Love my hands right now. All the chocolates are done, my studio and my hands are covered though. There you have it, now you have your own plate of Lego chocolate. Lego chocolates are the best. To get them a little bit more presentable, what you now do is rip the chocolates off the side, but I'm not gonna do that because right now I'm filming this in my Lego studio and the lights are really hot, therefore it's melting the chocolate really, really fast, so I cannot handle the chocolate. The chocolate's pretty good, it tastes delicious, I already had one. Shh. But what you would just do would be to quickly, like, you know, break that part off. But as you can see, just by touching it that much, it's already started to melt. So I mentioned at the start of this video that there was a chance to get all three molds for 20% off, as well as win one of the molds to get one of them for free. To win one, check the cards. There's another video, a review of these three molds. And in that video, there's a little contest that I put together. So if you want to go enter that, check the cards. But if you don't want to wait for the contest to end, and you just want to buy all three molds, all you have to do is head on over to ETSY, and to this, the link to this whole thing will be in the description down below, and the chance to buy all these three items, as well, use the promo code BRICKLOVER18, all lowercase, to get 20% off all of the molds. So if you're in the States, and they're because they're about $10 in the States, to get them for $8, use the promo code BRICKLOVER18. Team. Thanks everybody for watching this video on how to make Lego chocolates. If you have any more questions about how to make these chocolates, just comment them down below and I'll reply. To get these molds, again, head on over to the ETSY shop Wink to buy these molds. And don't forget to use the promo code BRICKLOVER18 to get 20% off your molds. Thank you so much for watching this BRICKLOVER18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more BRICKLOVER18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.